The group of 10,000 North Korean soldiers that Kim Jong-un provided to the Kremlin will most likely not be used in the war against Ukraine. The Kremlin needs it for its own security. This opinion was expressed in Telegram Russian blogger Anatoly Nesmian. He believes that large-scale participation of North Koreans at the front should not be expected. With their help, the Russian dictator will try to keep the situation inside the country under his control. Prigozhin's mutiny clearly showed that the loyalty to Putin's regime of the military and its own punitive structures is zero. With a military conflict, an army that is decomposing before our eyes, flooded with criminals, a tired population, including mutinies, is the height of stupidity. We need a force that can stop such a union. Russian blogger wrote, it is the DPRK soldiers who can become such a force. Another important condition is the minimal risk that such a force will collude with the rebels. In addition, according to the blogger, North Korean troops would be perfect for executing the rebellious population of Russia. In the Russian Federation, the punishment for military mutiny has already been increased to life imprisonment. However, this is not enough to ensure the regime's security. The DPRK troops will essentially become the force accompaniment of the law. When Russian paramilitary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin sent his Wagner mercenaries charging towards Moscow last year in a short-lived rebellion, President Vladimir Putin looked weak and vulnerable. But just one year on, from the most serious challenge to his authority in almost a quarter of a century in power, the Kremlin leader now appears more secure than ever. Prigozhin was killed in an airplane crash two months after the mutiny in which his Wagner fighters seized Russia's army headquarters in the southern city of Rostov-on-Don, shot down military aircraft and marched halfway to the capital before Belarus mediated a deal to end the 24-hour uprising. At present, there was no widespread defiance or public outpouring of support for Putin. Both the popular and elite response to the uprising showed there was little authentic enthusiasm for Putin or the war. Сейчас, сейчас покажу, как поселили наших друзей из Северной Кореи. Холодильник, плазма ебать, спальные места, нихуя себе, не на полу ебать, как мы. Генератор там стоит, газовая плита, чайник. Вот буржуйка, а мы ебать в грязи, в говне, по уши. Зато, зато они, блядь, в тепле. Вот, сейчас, сейчас покажу, как поселили наших друзей из Северной Кореи. Холодильник, плазма ебать, спальные места, нихуя себе, не на полу ебать, как мы. Генератор там стоит, газовая плита, чайник. Вот буржуйка, а мы ебать в грязи, в говне, по уши. Зато, зато они, блядь, в тепле. Footage of North Korean soldiers training in the Kursk region of Russia has been released. The North Korean military in the Kursk region are undergoing mine explosive training under the supervision of Russian instructors. It is reported that the exercises with the military of Kim Jong-un in the Kursk region were extended for two more days. They say that one of the DPRK soldiers has already died. He has been shot by DPRK soldiers at training. One Russian soldier claimed that the Koreans mistakenly shot the Russians. In his nightly address, President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine seemed to confirm that North Korean forces had entered the fight, and he called on Ukraine's allies to assist in confronting this new threat. The first battles with North Korean soldiers mark a new chapter of global instability, he said. Together with the world, we must do everything to ensure that this Russian step toward expanding the war, this true escalation, becomes a loss.